Meghan Markle should have been put in a probation period when, while in the Republic of Ireland last summer, she broke royal protocol and sparked a political storm, a documentary claims. Only two months after tying the knot, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry visited Ireland as part of their first official overseas visit as a married couple. The trip, however, did not go as smoothly as the royal family might have hoped. While at a garden party at the British ambassador's residence, Meghan reportedly discussed Ireland's referendum on abortion with Catherine Noon, a senator of the Fine Gael political party. Mys Noon wrote about the conversation in since deleted tweets, The Duchess and I had a chat about the recent referendum result she watched with interest and was pleased to see the result. The Irish senator followed up with a second now-deleted tweet that stated, I should say she seemed pleased she was interested and very measured, not political at all. In 2018 documentary Meghan and Harry, the first 100 days, royal correspondent Daniel Devane noted how Meghan's reported behavior was a breach of royal protocol. He said, of course that cannot happen in the royal family. It shouldn't be happening. Royal members should not be getting involved in politics. However, according to social commentator Nathan Catton, Meghan should have been given a break because she had not been in the royal family for long. He added, let's think of this as the probation period. Since her engagement announcement, Meghan's opinions have had to be muted, as protocol forbids royals from publicly expressing views on political figures and parties. It must have been a bitter pill to swallow for Meghan, who had been politically active from a young age. When she was only 11 years old, the California native successfully campaigned to have a washing detergent advert sexist language changed. She also said in 2016 she would move to Canada if misogynistic Donald Trump was elected U.S. president. On July 2 that year, Meghan also took to Instagram to share with her 2.3 million followers a picture of an unknown woman waving a pro-U placard during an anti-Brexit demonstration in London accompanying in the picture. She wrote, if you leave me now. Sharp Brexit, sharp Parliament, sharp referendum, sharp London. After the post went live, several users claimed it suggested Meghan was disappointed at the result of the referendum. At the time, Meghan was visiting Europe and reportedly stayed in London from the end of June until early July. It is believed the California native met Harry during that stay after being set up by a mutual friend for a drink with him at the private club Soho House. According to Harry, it was love at first sight and they both sensed their brief encounter could blossom into something much bigger. The Duke of Sussex said, The fact that I fell in love with Meghan so incredibly quickly was a confirmation to me that all the stars were lined. Everything was just perfect. Less than two years later, the two married at Windsor Castle in a lavish ceremony. Now, the Duke and Duchess are waiting for the imminent arrival of their first child. It has recently been revealed that unlike Kate Middleton, Meghan is unlikely to pose for a post-birth picture alongside Harry. This means the public will have to wait for the first glimpse of the new royal. The biggest indication yet that Meghan will not be giving birth at St. Mary's Linda Wing, like her sister-in-law did, is that there are no parking restrictions in place outside of the hospital. It has been speculated that the first picture of baby Sussex could come via the couple's new joint Instagram page. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.